But let Lawrence. me ask you a question. I find it. Lawrence. Okay, well, when to, I'll ask you this question. When I see a picture from the rover, I, I'm more excited about it that from coming from the rover than if it came from an astronaut taking the picture. Because the astronaut's using a camera, but the rover is taking the It's part of the rover. Let me tell you why that's okay. probably not true, even okay. though you think it is. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> most people don't know that there were robots as well as rovers on the moon mm -hmm. while we were first going to the moon. But you didn't know anything about those because the media focused on the astronauts. And it's the astronauts through which we gain vicarious access to space because they have mouths, they have brains, they have a childhood memory, they have school teachers that can talk about those astronauts. And I've yet to see a ticker tape parade for a robot. So I submit to you that Wait. if at the same time the Curiosity rover landed, if at that same time a human astronaut landed on Mars, you would have known nothing about the Curiosity rover. Yeah, but it would have been relegated to page 30, and the front page headlines would have been humans put footprints on Mars. And it's that force which will bring less science than the robot that has a power of influence yeah. on our culture that inspires an entire generation to want to do the same thing. My, my generation, my generation, when you ask my fellow scientists, should we send humans into space? No, it's too expensive, send robots. Yet they, I said, well, how did you get interested in space? Oh, because of the Apollo program. And I slap them. <laughs> I'm saying, what are you? <clears throat> no, that's it. <laughs> no, there was. On, on, the other, on the other hand, on the other hand, if you, if you remember, if Apollo 13 hadn't been the dramatic failure it was, they would have canceled the rest of the Apollo. They canceled three of the last missions. On that there, are three, yeah. there were three Apollo, the three Saturn V rockets lying on the ground around space, around the country, because they, it was so interesting that they, they abolished the last three. No, that's, that's delusional, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's not. Not incorrect. That's the facts. No, no, no. You can argue with the facts. I uh, watch me. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, so, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, everybody like mentioned their book. It's time for me to mention my latest book. It's I don't think anyone mentioned their book actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my most recent book is titled Space Chronicles, but that wasn't the original title. The original title was Failure to Launch. But the the dreams and delusions of space enthusiasts. And the publisher says, oh, that's too, oh, that's too depressing. You can't have the word failure in your title. It's, but that's what it's about. What you just said is a complete delusion. It presumes that we went to the moon for science. It no. presumes that we went to the moon to explore it. But that's not why we went no. to the moon. We no, went to Brother the moon. Neil, no, it is not. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> we went to the moon because we were at war. Sputnik was not just some orbiting spacecraft. It was a hollowed out intercontinental ballistic missile where they took out the warhead and put in a radio transmitter. The military knew this. That's what founded NASA. NASA's budget for science has, it averaged over all these years about 25%. The rest has been for geopolitical purposes. All right, so it's the I don't want to die driver in this world. That's why we spent all this money. And so the moment we learn Russia's not going to the moon and it's certainly not going to Mars, we canceled the program. It had nothing to do with public interest. Okay, now let me. It, 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 is, it is a. Let, let me try. I, I, I got to pull back. Yeah, you got to come in. But, but. It is. A, uh, let me try and bridge that gap a little bit. I'm going to be uh, silent. Uh, um, no, you're not. Um, <laughs> but uh, the, I think it's really important to point to point out that this is a political issue. And in fact, I, 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 me and Buzz Aldrin together testified before the House Ex Science Committee on Space Exploration. And I, I, when I said that that humans don't do science in space, I didn't argue. In fact, even before the committee, that. We shouldn't send humans into space. We should just say well, honestly why we're doing it. We're doing it for adventure. That's why we're doing it. No, that's honest. not what funded hold it. Hold on, hold on. No, that's, that's not true. So you said no. you wouldn't talk. But, yeah, I did but, say Okay, okay. You, you can say that. No, no, but hold it's, on. It's no, there's, there's no there there, okay? <laughs> there, no, just, just, 
Just look at the history of everybody doing big projects, and it's never driven by exploration. It's never driven by science. It's never driven by curiosity. Not if it's big and expensive. It's driven by the fact that people don't want to die. So there's a war driver. It's also driven by the fact that people want to get wealthy. So no, no, hold money on. We have driving. the Large, the large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider. The large, do, you, do you know? Oh, no. No. <laughs> Just proves my point. Yeah, yeah, the Large Hadron Collider. <laughs> uh, please remind me of the total construction cost of the Large Hadron Collider. I don't know about ten billion. About ten billion. That is six months of NASA funding. So you call that big budget? Not here in America. It's not.